Hello guys, welcome to S Academicus. Uh, I hope you are doing well. Uh, it's been three long years since I've uploaded uh, my last video on YouTube channel. So yeah, today I'll be again starting a series of a uh, few videos on structural engineering. I'll be taking another topic of structural engineering. Earlier we have like a set of uh, videos on RCC design. We have set of videos on PEB, pre-engineered building designs. Some like we have, I think I've uploaded the G plus seven video series yeah so this uh now i'll be starting with a new set of uh series like uh, a video series this time i'll be taking a different industry of structural engineering uh there is a like uh, nowadays there is a lot of uh, coming projects upcoming projects and there is ongoing projects in transmission substation in uh, uh, uh engineering so transmission substation this power utility power tnd we, we call it power tnd sector is uh, seeing a lot of uh, projects, lot of ongoing projects, lot of past projects, uh, refurbishment progress. Not, there are like a huge demand of civil structural engineering in this field. So yeah, so power transmission and distribution includes the substation engine, substation designs. So as a civil structural engineer, where are we? What are our roles and how we are going to execute those projects? So yeah, so I will be uploading a series of videos on transmission tower design. I'll be uploading a series of videos on substation structure design. I'll be starting this series with the substation structures because substation is a compact and it is like, a, it, 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 you can say it like it, uh, the entire civil engineering you can, uh, you can learn in a substation design. You call the road design. We, it is there in substation. You call the culvert small type of even bridges, they are there in substation. You call a drainage design, it is already there. Uh, water tank design, underground, overhead, it is there in a substation. You call shrill structure, it is there in a substation. RCC structures, it is there in a substation. You call, uh, you, you can play with the type of materials. You can have aluminum structures, you can have timber structures. Uh, you can you can have composite structures here. Yeah. You can have in foundation engineering design. You call uh, uh, pile foundation. It it is there in substation. You normal isolated footing. It is there in a substation. So yeah, you you if you name a substation, then you can think of all type of structural engineering. So yeah. So in a substation, like we uh, uh, this is a layout. I'll be I'll be just quickly moving uh, to an introduction. This this video will be just. Uh, introduction on substation and what are the structures in substation how what are the types of substation and how much as a civil structural engineer we should know about a substation so this this video will be like uh, about that if you guys know that it, it's it's well and if you don't know you can have a revision you can just go and look back and you can just have you can uh, like you can just your juniors whenever somebody join your uh, uh, company you can just uh, uh, you can just share this link to them like yeah you can have a introduction on a substation like which all what exactly we are doing so yeah substation uh, there is a road design uh, basically but uh, substation is a like system of electrical equipments where like we have to design all the uh, structures and then, then the, their foundation so I, I will not go very deep into the electrical part that I will be discussing separately but uh, in this uh, uh, video this this video the title itself says introduction of uh, substation civil structural yeah so what is the civil structural engineer we we like we are more worried about the structure design and foundation design uh, so when you see a substation this is a substation layout so when you su see a substation like uh, in this part you can see this is cl of la cvt ct wt and then this is iso cb iso so yeah these CL is the center line of the, these equipments. LA, CVT, CT, WT, ISO, CB, ISO. These are nothing but electrical equipments whose support structures we have to design. So now, before going into the like uh, the design of support structures, uh, we, let's have a like quick introduction of what is substation and what are the type of substation. Substation is basically a like electrical system where we there is a takeoff gantry or incoming uh, receiving gantry from where it takes the electricity like from the transmission line and it will like step up or step step down the current and it will just distribute to the distribution distribution system or it can be otherwise like it will take the electricity from the power plant 
and it will transfer to the uh, transmission line and from transmission line it will again be transferred to the uh, to a receiving substation and then from there it will be distributed to the consumers so yeah so this is, is this is the like a simple process of a substation like requirement of the substation and and then uh, there, there is a type of there, there are two types of substation basically if you uh, based on the insulation of substation there are two types of substation the first is the GIS substations, where the uh, the GIS substation is a gas insulator substation, which, as as the name suggests, the entire equipments, everything, is within a building. Like you you design a building and place everything, the GIS equipment and everything in that building. And there is another type of substation which is AIS substation. This layout is for an for an AIS substation. So AIS substation, as the name suggests, it is air insulated substation which means it is open to the air it is the this entire substation is not covered now why there is two types of substation so the gis substation since the, the the everything is within the building that means like it is a compact kind of substation so where uh, wherever there is like uh, the land is not available like in abundance so there it is the preferred to go with the gis substation and where there we have wherever we have the enough land and then uh, there is no such uh, limitation then we can go ahead with ais substation so and now i'll today in this video i'll be just uh, discussing about the ais substation because gis is a separate part there only the building design uh, needs to be done and some equipment like transformer foundation and some uh, receiving gantries uh, we have to design but most of them like the equipments and everything is within the building so yeah that that, that can be taken care that that can be taken in a separate set of series of videos so in an ai substation now in an ai substation there are again two types of substation uh, the first is a rigid bus substation and the other is flexible bus substation so when when we say a rigid bus substation that means it is related to like it is relate something to rigidity like it is rigid and then when we talk about flexible bus substation uh, it 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 has some flexibility so the rigidity and flexibility is with respect to the conductor of the uh, the the substation like wherever the conductor is flexible conductor the cable conductors with sag sag means sag is allowed in the conductor so that type of substation where the conductors having sag and the sag is allowed so those type of substation is flexible substance flexible conductor substation and where the conductors are rigid can you see this this is an aluminium tube or it can be a copper tube which is supported on a su structure these su structures are co are called as bus support structure this is a rigid bus and it is being supported on a structure so this is a bus support structure so these this type is actually a rigid bus substation and then the other one you can see every there is no bus there is no rigid bus or everywhere you can see the conductors so this is a flexible conductor substation now so in a flexible bus uh, the equipment type of equipments are like similar in both the substation rigid bus and flexible bus the only difference is when we have rigid bus substation uh, so there are no intermediate gantries that means there are no gantries within the substation so if you see this layout so in this you can see uh, these are the receiving gantries the dead end gantries you can see this and this is the dead end gantry and there is a gantry in between these like these are the gantry this gantry and this gantry in between this uh, like switch yard so basically the uh, the substation area is called a switch yard where equipment and gantries are there so there will be inter intermediate gantries in the switch yard in the flexible and when there is a rigid bus substation so there the gantries are not required uh, the, that those bus supports bus bars are supported on bus support structures so this this is the reason like uh, uh, the, the difference between rigid bus and uh, flexible bus so uh, these electrical equipment ct cvt uh, wt iso uh, isolator circuit breaker so these are the equipments for which we have to design the structures and foundations and then for rigid bus we have to design the bus support structure and then this foundation 
again then the, the equipment like we have uh, we will get the vendor prints like vendor details of equipments let let's say this we are designing the foundation so yeah yeah we were like we, we if you have to design the foundation of uh, these uh, structure of these equipments so we will this is a circuit breaker so the 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 specification of this equipment is being uh, given by the vendor and based on those specification we will be designing the structure and the foundation so this is how the equipment support structures are designed for substation and the the bus support and and regarding the bus support structure we will be analyzing this rigid bus we will be analyzing the insulator and then the insulator the reaction from this insulator will be uh, transferred to the structure and then this is how the structure of rigid bus being designed so i can just uh, quickly sh show you this is how uh, this rigid bus is modeled uh, actually this is a Riza 3d software uh, where we can just model the structure the rigid bus and then these are the supports given to the insulator so we can take the insulator uh, reactions we can support reaction of this insulator and for these support reactions the structure this bus support structure this bus support structures can be designed so this is just a introduction i just uh, wanted to give you an introduction of that uh, in in the upcoming videos you can see this the upcoming videos you can uh, uh, i will just uh, 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 i will just explain how exactly the rigid bus is designed and the modeling and everything that that will be a separate now but in this video i'll be just on i i'll just uh, uh, say talk about the type of substations and what is the role of civil structural engineer in a substation design so hope like uh, this the, the things are I've, I, I've taken it like uh, quite a short time to explain this this can be like uh, taken it it can be explained in three four videos i'll just see to it like how uh, briefly i can explain and how easily i can explain so yeah uh, you can just uh, wait for a few more videos on this uh, substation introduction to civil structural for a substation design so yeah so this was today's uh, first uh, uh, video on civil structural of a substation design so hope uh, if if, if uh, hope you find this video informative and then you can uh, subscribe to our channel and share this video uh, we will like uh, hope to make uh, more videos on substation and then transmission i'll be uh, uh, taking each and every type of equipment and maybe i'll just uh, show the example how it is being designed and then we can just uh, go to it and then the, after the substation design is completed we can have a, a series on transmission line design mm, and then yeah eventually like uh, i'll be continuing with new new topics and then you can suggest your uh, like how exactly like if this is like how i can improve how if anything i'm missing you can uh, like if, if you're going through this video you can just uh, like if i have missed something you can just comment if you're not understanding just comment i will try to uh, include those comments in the upcoming video thank you have a nice day take care